In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some actions to your objects. So, I'm going to start with the player object. So, I'm going to double click on it to open it. Now, as you can see, you've got this space here for events and actions. So, this is basically saying when this event happens, that action happens. I'm just going to drag my image over a bit. So, I'm going to add an event. Now, there's a heap of events you can use, but let's start with nice simple ones like key presses. When you press the left key, so that's what this is saying. When the left key happens, and over on this side will be the actions that happen. So I'm going to grab up here. The actions are under heading. So move, jump, paths, and there's tabs full of them. But we're going to start with something simple like moving. So I'll drag it here. Now you can have multiple actions happening. But when it's pressed left, I'm going to make it go left at a speed of 2. And it applies to itself. So let's start with that nice simple thing. Okay, now I'm going to add a second action. So add event when the key press is right. But as you'll see, the action's gone. That's because the action is only there for left. We need a separate action for right. So the, the action window for right is empty. So I'm going to drag move over again. And I'm going to make it say it's going to go right at a speed of 2. And I hit OK. So now... I'm going to hit OK to save all that information, and I'm going to play my game. So, we'll just watch that. Uh, we're just waiting for that to launch. Um, so, what I'm expecting is that when I hit the left key, or the left arrow key, it will move left slowly. When I hit the right arrow key, it will right move um, right slowly. But it won't stop at all, because there's been no code to tell it to stop. So, we're just waiting for that to load. There it is. I'll just drag it over the side of it. So there you go, I'm moving it, I press the key, and it's doing what I told it. And now it's got a new instruction. But that's all it can do, it doesn't know to stop because it hasn't got any code telling it to stop. But so far, that is how you add basic actions to an object, and it doesn't, and as you see it went right off the screen there, um, it doesn't only apply to the player object, it could be to any object you can add actions, and this is the heart of how you build your game.